Less than a whole day ago, we've actually just got some new news on Naruto X Boruto or my Ninja Storm Connections. With this, we've actually discovered some really cool and interesting things, and I'm here just to relay that bit of extra news for you that you're all looking for. Before I go ahead, I actually want to give a massive shout out to Senju in Japan for helping me with this video. Honestly, Senju has been a great help in terms of just uh, sharing with me what he can and just sharing with the community what he obviously can about things, and is obviously making uh, covering content on it a lot easier. Honestly, if I didn't have Senju, I, I'd probably be a lot more lost when it comes to covering the content. So guys, be sure to check out Senju Japan. His Twitter and his YouTube links will be down in the description. Honestly, you need to go follow this man. He, if anyone's doing God's work, it has been him for the longest. <laughs> now, not to say that Senju is leaking or anything. He's just really good at just relaying information and I also like to assist him in doing so. So yesterday we had obviously the online UI picture and it was all in the mixture of katakana, kanji and a little bit of hiragana and we couldn't actually fully understand what everything is but don't worry we now have it all translated and so I'm going to confirm what everything says in English and then we can actually see and dissect what everything means and what this could mean for other announcements we have received so far. Okay, so we have the image right here. Now, the quality of this image isn't the best and I've zoomed in as much as I can while remaining somewhat good. Uh, quality of the image so I'm gonna go as far as this to zoom in so it doesn't mess up okay so everything here has been translated which is amazing so we can understand what everything says right okay let's start from the top and then go down so after conversing with Senju quite a bit I can actually tell you that these ranks uh, sorry these titles at the top are actually custom titles that you can put on your profile so shuriken master is actually something that you can apply to your profile here and the same with battle hardened teamwork so these are uh, custom sort of titles that you can put on and have written above your name at the top. This is obviously your PSN name, which is kind of obvious. You've got the connectivity bar here. Obviously the levels are gonna remain the same, of course. And now this button here, this option here, this is where it gets juicy, everybody. It says preparing. Uh, you've got 22 seconds left on the clock, obviously. Both sides say preparing. And obviously this is in the perspective of player one, which is this person here, which is why there's a connectivity bar here. So you use the square button to prepare whatever it is you need to prepare. So I'm guessing this button will allow you to change these characters here and this character. I don't know if it allow you to change the stage that might be pre-selected before you get to the stage by both players, maybe in some type of uh, system or way. However, this is, uh, is what's determined. I think this determines this. And not only that, but customization options as well. I believe by hitting, hitting the, the the square button to pre to prepare wherever it is or change whatever it is you need to do, you can go through these individually and change them, or even uh, change the customization, like have them look with certain accessories and things like that. Obviously, um, there's a lot of rumors and a lot of uh, info going around that this is to do with cosmetics only and nothing to do with stat buffs. Nothing's really been confirmed or denied yet, but. We can say that this is a good link towards, uh, you know, the customization parts at the very least, right? Now, this bit here is actually your online rank. So your Hidden Leaf Shinobi rank here and uh, Skilled Shinobi rank here. Now, obviously comes with really nice borders as well. Nice little icon there. I don't know if these background borders and these icons are customiz uh, you know, customizable or if they just come with the title. Uh, but again, they look really good anyway. I mean, some of these assets have been reused. Like this little star thing is actually looks what like the round icons in the match in matches look like. Um, so that is a thing, of course. Um, even then, I think it's still safe to assume that this is a player battle because even in player battle, um, it naturally in storm games, you can look at each other's records and see what ranks they are before you go into a player battle. So with this whole leveling thing, and if it is like a stat uh, difference, it's still safe to assume that this is a still a player battle screen. However, this also could be a ranked screen. We don't have enough information about these levels to really finalize anything yet, but at least we have the English. So yeah, we, this is your rank. And then I, I'm assuming a skilled shinobi is obviously a higher rank than hidden leaf shinobi. So that explains why this person was on a three winning streak. Um, I'm guessing the green tick means that they are ready to go kind of type of thing, like they're, they're good to go. And then I think this means that they're here and they're still picking. So I actually guessed correctly Japan. So this is uh, showing you what region you're from. So it says the, the kanji for it said Japan. So I guess it will either tell you the country or just the region. Now before Japan has always just been under a region. It never really said Asia. Um, so I'm guessing for myself and other Europeans, this would just say Europe. For North America, it would just say NA or North America on it. 
uh, SA for South America, and you know the other regions as well. You've got Asia and things like that. Um, and then obviously, yeah, as we all said, R2 for your chat options, which we can't really look into, but again, that's 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 cool. And just a way to relay messages between you and your opponent before matches. And then this is to access the profile of the enemy. Now, I'm assuming this is a PlayStation profile. So I'm guessing on Xbox, it might be like the start button or the Xbox controller and other platforms might be other keys or buttons to check out uh, their profiles and things like that. So is either that or it might actually show um, the Ninja Info card. No, this doesn't that the screen doesn't necessarily mean that Ninja Info cards are gone. It just means that this could be a button towards it. But again, this is such a beautiful screen. A lot of you are actually saying that this screen uh, is kind of like a very mobile game-esque thing. And I never saw it, but now people are saying it. I can kind of see it. But guys, I can reassure you, this game is not a mobile game, obviously. You have PlayStation inputs for it. But yeah, that is everything right there for the uh, translation. So now we know exactly what this online mode says. And honestly, this game looks very exciting. And this... I'm pretty sure is what allows you to go into customization. So I think a lot of the things that they showed us with these screenshots are all linked together. I think here you can actually choose custom like Team UJ um, animations or stuff like that. Like there might be different options perhaps. I don't know. But that's what this preparing button tells me. This seems to be a very useful uh, key feature to this whole thing. But anyways, again, once again, big shout out to Senju in Japan for the translation. It is highly appreciated. Obviously, go check out his stuff. He is very well informed when it comes to Storm Connection stuff. And he has a lot of good theories and a lot of credible theories as to what will be going on with the game as well. He is definitely worth uh, staying in tune of when we're getting closer and closer to this game's release. Anyways, as always, it's been your boy Poison Akami. Janet.